Hi, my name is Nathan and welcome to The Daily Word. On today's episode of The Daily Word, we'll be in Matthew 16, verses 15 and 16. Let's read the scripture together on the count of three. One, two, three. But what about you, he asked. Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Our daily word for today is the word answered. Let's say this word together, answered. So what does that word answered mean? Well, to answer something is to respond to a question. So that could be a question that someone is actually asking you, maybe a teacher asking a student a question. The response would be an answer. So when someone is asking a question, your response is an answer. Or that could just be with yourself. You could be reading a book, you could be researching a topic by yourself and no one else is there, but you answer questions. Maybe you're taking a test or doing a homework assignment and you answer questions. There's a question and then you're responding, and your response is the answer. It's something that you believe is true, or it's your idea, or your impression, or your response to what you're being asked. So, now that we have a basic understanding of the word answer, or in our sense, answered, the past tense of answer, let's put it back into these verses in the Gospel of Matthew. What we have here is Jesus asking the question, Who do you say I am? That to me is the central question of the entire Bible. That is the most important question you could ask yourself. Above every other question you've encountered in scripture, about creation, about the scriptures itself, about the early church, about Paul, there are so many questions and there will never be, there will never be an end to the questions we have. But, The most important question that needs to be asked from Jesus to his disciples and Peter and from him to us, who do you say I am? In the same way that our our, our video about raised, talking about the resurrection of Jesus, is such a pivotal belief, this is the pivotal question. Who do you say I am? So again, who do you say I am? It's not who does your church say I am? What are their statements of beliefs? or their common values. It's not what what do your parents say? Who do they think I am? Or what does your culture say? This is a question to you and a question to me. Who do you say I am? This is singular. Who do you say I am? So who do you say Jesus is? What is your answer to that question? Think about that. Who do you say he is. Some people think he's a teacher. Some people think he's a prophet. Some people think he didn't exist. Some people think that he's just a myth, a legend, just a regular guy. Some people think that he was just a revolutionary. There's a lot of different understandings and a lot of different answers to that question, who do you say I am? But what does Peter say? Peter says, you are the Christ. If your answer to that question, who do you say I am, is not, you are the Christ, I encourage you to look into scripture and ask the Lord to reveal truth in scripture to you. And if you believe that, it means that you have come to an understanding by the power of the Holy Spirit that Jesus is exactly who he says he is. For many years, I didn't know if I believed that. I had doubts because I didn't really have any experience on my own to lend a hand to believing that with confidence that Jesus is the Christ. But Jesus says in this scripture, and he says in other scriptures in the gospel, in the same situation, only the Holy Spirit could reveal this to you. And I pray that for you listening right now that are unsure, I pray that the Holy Spirit make this real to you, not to people around you, but to you so that you can confidently say that the answer to that question for me is you are the Christ. He is the Christ. Because if he's not the Christ, 
then the same thing with the resurrection. If that didn't happen, this is all pointless. This is all trivial and it's a waste of time. But if he is the Christ, that changes everything. <laughs> that means that everything that was promised has come true. And those promises include not just everlasting life, not just getting into heaven, but it means that you can experience the presence of the living God, the creator, in your life right now. That he can bring healing to relationships that seem lost. That he can make a way in careers or in directions that seem like they've been stalled or redirected. It means that there is eternal hope starting today in your life. It means that there is freedom and liberty from things that have been strongholds, that have been keeping you back internally and spiritually right now. It means that you can have abundant joy, peace, strength, and hope in the Lord right now. So if those are things you want, if those are things you want, you want to feel peace, you want to feel liberated, ask yourself, who do you think Jesus is? And don't go to him because you want those things, but go to him because you want to know the answer to that question. Because finding the answer to that question, that he is the Christ, at that starting point, that will trickle down. And by understanding who he is, you will start to see that over time, your character and your spirit will change and you will experience his presence in your life which comes with all of those glorious fruits so ask yourself that question today and keep asking it until you get the answer who do you say he is what is your answer how have you answered that question well that does it for today's episode of the daily word if you like this video or found it helpful go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and then think of some ways you can use this word in just daily conversation. What are some things that you answer? What are some situations where you've needed to answer? But more importantly, ask yourself how you would answer that question. Right now, looking at you right now, who do you say Jesus is? Find that answer and let the gospel change your life by the truth that he is the Christ. Well, my name is Nathan, and this was your Daily Word. See you next time.